Tuesday, June 23rd, 2020, the King James Holy Bible, the first book of Samuel, chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord. Mine horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over mine enemies, because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Talk no more so exceeding proudly, let not arrogancy come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumbled are girded with strength. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry ceased. So that the barren hath born seven, and she that hath many children is waxed feeble. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the beggar from the the dust and lifteth up the I'm sorry he he raises up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he hath set the world upon them he will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be silent in darkness for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall be thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. So, our day of the Lord here, it is at hand. There is... The day of the Lord, which will be horrific for many, because judgment from God is being passed upon this earth, even as we speak right now. But it's going to be horrific really soon. And he that is close to the Lord, he that is meek and humble right now, will be rejoicing, actually. The Lord will bless those who are meek and humble. Stay close to the Lord as close as you possibly can. And just remember the two greatest commandments ever. And if you stand by these, you live by these, everything will fall into place how it shall be. Jesus said he'd never take away the persecutions and the trials and tribulations, but that he would be there with us. And he is at all times. And at hand now is our day of rejoicing, the day of the Lord. People talk about the day of the Lord being horrific. Well, yes, for those who are not walking with the Lord God Almighty, those who are walking in Him will be lifted up. Everyone, please join me in tugging on God's heart for God to please forgive, save, and awaken all of our precious loved ones and us, and for God to have His beloved Son, King Jesus Christ, Take all of our loved ones, including all of our pets and other animals, along with us to heaven in the imminent glorious rapture, which will happen at literally any moment now. I eagerly look forward to hanging out with the loved ones when we get home and are thoroughly enjoying our totally awesome, never-ending family reunion. The family of Christ, that is. I hope to see you in the sky really soon. We fly home extremely soon.